Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm super happy to join a blog hop organized by Simons and Stamp as we celebrate their latest release. You will find loads of products in this release including stamps, stencils, even foiling plates and pastes. However, for today I'm focusing on this gorgeous stamp set that consists actually out of three stamps that helps you create this lovely scene. These can be used completely separately. As you can see, I can take out the town as well as the Santa. And for today I'm going for kind of a different design than uh, the first one that comes to mind. So instead of stamping the background with dark blues and maybe black to create a night sky, I'm going vintage style. And when you want to create a vintage style card, you can never go wrong by starting with craft cardstock. I'm going to do some stamping using this big stamp which has a holiday sayings on top and I will stamp that all over the background making sure that nothing looks perfect by using distress ink and that vintage photo. The panel that I'm going to stamp to, if you notice, has a scalloped edge instead of the one that we created together previously. However, that's because I like to create multiples of the card. I do have, after all, all the supplies for creating this design on my table, so I better make more to have handy when I want to send my Christmas cards. And I like to do uh, slight variations like changing the frames, etc. Back to the original panel and here I'm doing some inking all around the edges. For that I did use two shades of brown, that was vintage photo and um, ground espresso. So let's do some stamping. I'm going to stamp the town at the bottom but not all the way at the edge. I need to leave a little bit of space for my sentiment to go there. I want to have a dark brown uh, town at the bottom. That's why I'm using uh, archival ink in uh, ground espresso. Any dark uh, brown ink would work for that. And I'm going to do it a couple of times just to end up with a solid impression. Now I am planning to do a little bit of embossing so I'm using my heat gun to make sure that the ink is completely dry so that my uh, embossing powder doesn't stick all over the place. And I'm going to use my mini Versamark ink pad here and I'm touching only the tops of the roofs and the um, trees. So I'm going to stamp that on top. You can't see anything because this uh, is transparent. However, when I'm placing on top the embossing powder, that's fine white embossing powder by WOW, it's going to stick only at the rooftops. Well, that would happen if the ink was completely dry underneath. However, you will see that I have a few imperfections, but nothing that I cannot dust away with my brush. Also keep in mind that this doesn't have to be completely perfect. After all, we are going for a vintage style look here. And at the end, I'm going to add some splashes to look like snow. So if you have some particles of white embossing powder here and there, it's not the end of the world. And after melting my embossing powder, I ended up having snow on my rooftops. And now let's stamp the Santa. I do prep my paper with my embossing pillow to remove any static electricity. And I'm going to stamp uh, that by using Versamark ink. I will emboss the whole image with white embossing powder, but for this style of card, you can also go by just stamping the image with brown. Again, if you have some imperfections, on the embossing process. Don't worry too much, this is a vintage style project, so nothing has to be crisp and perfect. Just think of it as imperfections add to the whole look and feel. Now for the bottom of my panel I am creating a snow bank. This has to be quite thin and uh, I did use one of my scene making dies to cut out that snow bank. If you don't have one of those dies, you can also use your scissors. And for the bottom, I did use my deckled edge trimmer to give the same look and feel as my panel. For the back, I'm going to use a thin foam strip. These foam strips are by Waffle Flower and they are really handy to work with. I'm going to stick the snow bank at the bottom. So I ended up having an extra layer on my card and dimension, which is always something that I want to add. Now I want to darken up the background a little bit with vintage photo and that's 
just because I want to help those uh, embossed white images to pop even more. Don't worry to go over the embossed images, they are going to resist the ink and when you finish you can easily wipe them off with a paper towel. And of course on a winter scene just like this one I do have to add some snow. I'm going to add on my glass mat a blob of acrylic paint that was Art by Marlene white acrylic paint. I'm going to thin it down with water and I'll just use a brush and add lots and lots of um, snow on my background. Now this snow is not going to stay as vibrant as it looks in the beginning just because it's going to touch the distress ink underneath but that's a bonus for this style of cards. After all on a vintage card you don't want to have a vibrant white color. To embellish my card a little bit more I did die cut a holly berry and this is a die from my Spellbinders Winter Bird House. It's a die set that I keep on using again and again but I can't help it. After all when I was designing that set I made sure to include little dies that can be used again and again. For my sentiment I decided to go with Just Believe. It is a sticker from a previous collection by Tim Holtz. I believe that this set is now discontinued but you can always stamp your sentiment and add it there. For the red berries I did use the dye to cut out uh, red glitter cardstock so these are shiny but of course you can go ahead and use your uh, nouveau drops, you can use gems, pearls, sequins, whatever works. And finally I finished off my panel by sticking one more sticker that says Santa Claus is coming to town. Now we have a dark red panel that's 3.5 by 8.5 which is going to be the finished size of my slimline card. I'm making up the edges with a bit of uh, black soot to darken them up a little bit and then I'm going to stick with foam tape the panel on top. I absolutely love the finished result. Vintage style cards are one of my favorite styles for sure. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Down below in the description area you will find the full list of the supplies that I used. Don't forget to join the blog hub. Thank you all for watching and I hope you will all have a lovely weekend.